Hey everybody, what is up and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Liz. And today we're going to be talking about Kristen Rossum, the lady that killed with fentanyl. So, just after 9.15pm on November 6th of 2000, Kristen Rossum dialed 911. This was to report that Greg DeVillers had died via suicide. After the call, the responders, you know, would come and they would find DeVillers' unresponsive body. He was lying on the bed in the couple's bedroom. So this bed was also covered in rose petals, you know, kind of like what you would have seen in American Beauty if, um, you know, you know the scene I'm talking about where basically Kevin Spacey is seeing his daughter's friend on the ceiling. I think it's Mina Suvari. Yeah, Mina Suvari is on the bed. She's butt-ass naked and she's got the rose petals around her. Yeah, think about that, but with a dead guy on it. Anywho, so... He would be officially pronounced dead at the hospital after they took his body away. You know, they have to do that. Dead on arrival. Anywho. So, even with the initial claim from Kristen that Greg had committed suicide, there was someone else that didn't believe this claim. So, Greg's brother, Jerome, was completely convinced that Greg would never do this. And he even went to the police about this. But the San Diego PD were very hesitant to open to like reopen this as a homicide because it was it was just labeled as a suicide but it wouldn't be before long that the investigation would take a drastic turn and this is due to some things that just weren't adding up just to give you a little backstory Kristen worked at the medical examiner's office so it's due to this conflict of interest that Greg's body was taken to a different medical examiner's office outside of LA because Kristen worked for the LA medical examiner's office and it would be extremely wrong for her to work on the autopsy of Greg. So after they run a talk screen and all the other panels during the autopsy, his results came back and man, it was shocking. He had seven times the lethal dose of fentanyl in his system. That doesn't sound like a suicide at first. I mean, it could. Heroin is cut with fentanyl now, so I mean, that's an instant death, but it's a different dose. But I also would like you to know that about a month after Greg's death, Kristen was fired from her job at the medical examiner's office, but it wasn't just her. Her friend, Michael Robertson, was also fired. You see, her termination of her employment there was due to her hiding her meth habit, and Obviously, same happened with Michael Robertson, of whom we would find out was actually more than her friend. You see, Michael was fired for enabling her habit of meth and fraternizing with a subordinate. Basically, in layman's terms, it's because he was fucking Kristen. So he got fired for screwing his coworker and basically feeding her meth habit. So with all of this, the police start to get more suspicious. They bring Kristen back in for questioning. She said that Greg was severely depressed. And the night before he committed suicide, um, her father could also see. And he attested to Greg drinking heavily on that night. And everything wasn't right. Yada, yada, yada. You know, same bullshit excuse. But the investigation continued. And they would unfold what actually happened. So the police learned about her relapse from meth. Her affair with her boss, Michael, and how Greg was going to basically expose them if she didn't quit her job. So spicy, right? So, with them, you know, fighting, she basically injects Greg with the fentanyl because she doesn't want to lose her boyfriend. She doesn't want to lose her job. She also doesn't want to lose her meth. I mean, if you're a meth head, that's like your life. Um, But at the cost of Greg's life. So, about seven months after the death of Greg DeVillers, Kristen Rossum was charged with, with murder on June 25th of 2001. November 12th of 2002, she was found guilty of murder in the first degree, and she was sentenced on December 12th of 2002 to life without parole. She's currently at the Central California Women's Facility in Chowchilla, California. You know... All of this for your affair, meth, is so you don't lose your job. And you lose the love of your life, or said love of your life, because, I mean, he was the love of your life before all this shit happened. But all of that 
for that. What a lovely Valentine's crime, right? I'll see you guys in my next video.